It's just my hair I didn't wash. Just did a body shower. But today is Vlogtober Day 23. And uh, I didn't vlog for the entire work week. So that's that. Um, I already failed. It's that time of the month during Vlogtober where, you know, things get tiring. So I just decided to, you know, film what I feel like filming just waiting for the exciting moments and then just share that so that's what I'm doing so hopefully you guys don't mind but yesterday I just cleaned up my apartment a bit when I got home and I also did my nails as you guys probably seen which are these they are like these ghost nails I don't know if you can tell but the light might be a little too bright but I got this inspiration from a girl on TikTok or Instagram but I found her on TikTok first. I will link her name right here so you guys can go check her out on there. But I just thought they were really cute. It's like a play on French nails. Um but just Halloween inspired because today I am actually going to my sister's apartment to do a little pumpkin slash canvas painting. Um, we did that last year, as you guys might have remembered from my last Vlogtober, and it was pretty fun, and I really enjoyed it, and I think we might have sushi, so I'm excited about that. But yeah, we're going to be doing that a little bit later, but right now my boyfriend is on his way here because we're just going to have a little chill day before we go over there. Um, we're actually going to be building a gingerbread house that I shared with you guys, so that should be exciting, of course filming that. And I think we're going to watch Dune. Um, I've always heard about it over the years, like growing up about the book. And I'm not a book reader, so <laughs> I didn't think to read it. But I always hear people talking about it and stuff. And then I saw that they were coming out with a movie. And I saw the trailer the other day when I went to see Venom. And it looked really good. And I was like thinking when I was watching, I was like, this looks like Star Wars mixed with like blade runner or something and then like they said like when star wars meets whatever like i was like exactly that's what it looks like but i'm really excited because it has my timmy chalamet who is or used to be a man crush whatever but i don't know it's kind of fading um and zendaya who i love as well as my woman crush wednesday so i'm excited for the both of them and jason momoa yeah from game of thrones which is also a good one so 
very excited to watch that we'll see how much we get into it because i don't know if it's a long movie or not but it's on hbo max so i'm excited because i only thought it was coming out in theaters so yeah that's gonna be our day so i'm gonna bring you guys along of course first with our chill relaxed time we have here and then when we get to the pumpkin painting or canvas painting yeah <laughs> So it is now many hours later, six o'clock, and we finished watching that super long movie. <laughs> I think that was the first movie that I actually watched straight through that was that long. Anyways, if you can tell the faces I make at certain parts in my video. <laughs> You know why, but we are going to be on our way to my sister's apartment. This lighting is very bad that I am under, but I want to show you what I'm wearing really quickly before we go because it's the same exact outfit I wore on the haunted house video, but of course I forgot to film it. So let me turn you guys around. So I am wearing this ET sweatshirt, which you might have seen a few October ago actually like one ago just has a bunch of these ET images on it which I got from Zara surprisingly I have this gray bag because I need a bigger bag to carry my camera I'm wearing these ripped jeans that I think I also got from Zara which I like the color a lot and then I am bringing out the old Converse the Chucks classic these I had for a couple of years now they are starting to get dirty and I need a new pair so we are going to be in our memory play. Cause no matter what you do, you're still 
stuck in a maze Cause my heart is in the wrong because I got it on camera and it was recorded. <laughs> but you know what? All right, I'm dead, so I'm not gonna show y'all the footage, so. So guys, I just got home. I'm super tired. It is 12.30 in the morning right now, so it is already Sunday that I'm filming this, but I got home. It was a fun night. I'm gonna quickly show you guys what we painted and some other stuff that I got, but I also have a HelloFresh order that I need to put away in my fridge, so I'm gonna do that also, then head to bed. But first, let me just show you guys our paintings because I kind of showed it in the video, but I just thought that I'd show it again to you guys so you could see an up-close look. So this is my boyfriend's pumpkin. This is actually a fake pumpkin that my sister luckily got for him. Um, and if you guys notice this, it's very on trend right now, but this is all like the squid game guards in the show so he just did like all the different shapes of that the pumpkin looks kind of orange on here i don't know once i edit it what color it'll be but yeah that was pretty cool and this wasn't my original painting but i just finished my original one really quick so i decided to do this one i don't know where that red paint came from it's not supposed to be there but it's supposed to be like mushrooms and it looks kind of cool i just like the way it came out it kind of looks like other things that I can't say right now, but it's pretty cute. This is actually, I think, one of my favorite paintings. It's so simple, but I don't know. I got it from a picture on Pinterest, and it just screams Halloween. And it looks like I kind of like drew it with a pencil, but it was really all paint. So this like little outline is supposed to be like more of like a moon or whatever setting in the background. But I didn't want to do all that, so I just kind of made it like a illuminating background behind the ghosts like it's glowing so that was that and then I also got two candles for my sister once again her Etsy shop is called Raquel's Room um, I'm also going to link down my other sister's Etsy shop um, she does like budgeting stuff and like envelopes and different things that you need if you do budget um, but these two candles I brought for my other sister um, and she just gave them to me there instead of shipping them out but this one is just like this blue one that I'm going to put under like the picture that I have in the little walkway area um, because I thought it was high in the blue. And then this one is like very Halloween-esque and I just like the skull and the colors. So yeah, I picked this one. I even like the writing on this. It feels like very like slasher movie looking. And it even has like the black wax and this one has blue. So I thought these were really cute. So that is all for tonight. I am ready to knock out. Of course, I'm going to wipe off this makeup, put away my HelloFresh, and then go straight to bed. But I will see you guys in the morning. Not sure what I'm doing. Definitely going to sleep in, so it's going to be a late start. But yeah, we will find out in the morning. Probably just a chill, relaxed Sunday. <laughs>
this is vlogtober day 24 i believe i think so um i just had a very late start today like i said i was gonna sleep in slept until about 12 30 which is pretty late i haven't done that in a while but i felt like i needed it and i was able to do it because i don't really have anything to do today anyways so it was very much well rewarding so i just um got up i made a little bit of food i think i want to make some decaf coffee right now because i don't have any like regular tea bags except like green tea and stuff and i don't really feel for that right now i just want some regular like english breakfast tea or some regular black tea but i'm gonna make one of my nespresso decaf coffees um i think it only has like i try to google on like how much caffeine is actually in there and it's less than 12 mg so hopefully that doesn't affect me anyway i took melatonin last night so I can just have like a full-on sleep session and it was great. I actually feel refreshed rather than, you know, when you sleep for too long and then you feel even more tired when you wake up. But I also just did my budget. Um, I kind of like import everything that I've spent in the last like week, even though I should probably be doing it daily, but I get too caught up and forget, but it works just fine. I use the You Need a Budget app or the website um my sisters actually introduced me to it sometimes it gets confusing um but i'm starting to get the hang of it so yeah i just did that i'm watching rocky horror picture show might change it since i feel like i just watched this very recently but yeah i'm just gonna chill out again for the rest of the day there's not much to do also yesterday with the gingerbread house we didn't end up doing it because the movie Dune was so long. Um, I actually enjoy the movie. Like I said, that's the first time that I ever sat through like a long film like that and actually paid attention. Like I didn't really look at my phone that much. Um, only if someone like was like texting me, I just checked. But I was actually like into it, like knew everything that was going on. So it was good. Um, had a little slow parts, I, I personally think, but I love the way it looked so beautiful um and there definitely is gonna be more i never read the book or the books i don't know how many there are but i've heard about it a lot over the years and i don't know if i'll ever actually read it so i'll just stick to the movies but yeah i think i'm just going to maybe i'll do some laundry and then i'm gonna be cooking one of my hello fresh meals tonight so i'll probably show you guys that as well but I'm just really gonna chillax. So this is gonna be an easy, quick day. You'll probably just see me filming, me cooking dinner, and that's it. But I'm just going to chillax, watch some YouTube, watch some movies, and just enjoy this chilled Sunday. Okay, so I am about to make some food, which is my whole fresh food, because I'm pretty hungry. It is about four, 50 so about to be five o'clock so it's around dinner time and i'm just starving i did eat something for breakfast slash lunch so i guess brunch which was some lobster ravioli from trader joe's which was really really good but i'm hungry once again so we're gonna get to cooking that um let me just check the recipe So today we will be making the black bean and poblano quesadillas. So this is all the ingredients you will need. Um, and this is all of the instructions if you want to screenshot that. Um, it's basically a vegetarian meal. I chose a vegetarian, pescatarian, and meat meals for HelloFresh just so I can have a variety because some days I don't like eating meat. Some days I want to eat fish and shrimp and all that type of stuff. Or I do want to eat meat. So that's what she said. Um, so yeah, this should be pretty easy. I've actually made this before. And this is the dish that I was talking about in my last video. Where I had the little accident with my eye. I feel like it's about to fall out of my head. Because I touched my eyes 
when cutting the peppers and touching the seeds. So once again, I'm going to be very careful with chopping those up. But like I said, you guys could check out the recipe if you want to make this at home. But I'm just going to do my little time lapse and then, of course, the taste test at the end. Even though I know how it tastes, it's pretty good, but just so you guys could see the finished product. So do not mind that noise that is my air fryer i'm currently doing the other quesadillas now this doesn't look the best appetizing sort of meal but i am officially done i didn't add a lot of tomatoes on the top because i don't really like tomatoes that much um but yeah it kind of looks like a mess but i know how it tastes and it's gonna taste good so let's do our little taste test it might be a little too hot so i'm gonna break like a little piece and taste it with you guys and i feel like the beans came out a little too liquidy but you know I don't really care. It's still food for me, so let's try this bad boy. Okay, so I just brought you guys near my sink to try it. I'm just gonna cut it a little bit more with my knife. It might be a little hot because it was in an air fryer, but let's see. What can I say? I am a chef in the kitchen. That is really good. Honestly, like, black beans, they're great. But yeah, this is really good. I definitely might add like some, uh, even though there's the peppers inside, I still might add some hot sauce on top because I just love my spice. So you can kind of make this to your liking. Also the guacamole mix on top, you don't have to mix it like that. You can just do it separately and dip it in. But I just followed it exactly how the instructions said. So that is my dinner for tonight. I'm just going to chill out watching YouTube. Enjoy this. Pack that up for tomorrow. And I will see you guys in the next weeks of the last Vlogtober video, I believe. So hopefully it's exciting again. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. So bye.